This video will discuss pressure in statistical mechanics. So from the previous video on the heat and work in statistical mechanics, we show that the pressure of a system is equal to the negative expectation value of the partial derivative of the energy of the system with respect to volume at constant number of particles. So this is equal to the negative sum over all the states of the system of the probability of each of those individual states times the partial derivative of that energy level with respect to volume at constant number of particles. Okay, so this expression, uh, just as we did for the expression of energy in statistical mechanics, it's a weighted average of the partial derivative of the energy level with respect to volume. For energy, we derived an expression for how we went from an expression in terms of the probabilities and the energy levels in terms of various derivatives of the entire partition function. So similarly, we can go through a derivation that shows this formula down here is exactly equivalent to this one up here. I'm not going to do that here, but uh, it is the same type of procedure that you would do from the video on uh, ensemble energy and statistical mechanics. So the pressure of the system in terms of the partition function is equal to 1 over beta times the partial derivative of the natural log of the partition function with respect to volume of the system at constant number of particles and beta. So beta, we'll remind ourselves, is 1 over the Boltzmann constant times the temperature, the inverse temperature. So pressure is equal to Boltzmann constant times temperature times partial derivative of natural log of Q with respect to V at constant number of particles and temperature. Okay, we'll remind ourselves that the translational partition function of an ideal gas or system of n ideal gas particles is equal to volume to the n over n factorial times 2 pi mkt over h squared to the n over 2. V, as I said, is volume of the system n is the number of particles, m is the mass of an individual ideal gas particle, a single molecule or atom, kb the Boltzmann constant, t the temperature, and h Planck's constant. Okay, so if we take the natural log of this translational partition function, we can separate it into different terms. The natural log of a times b is the natural log of a plus b, so I'm going to separate it into three terms. Natural log of v to the n is n log v, because natural log of a to the x is x log a. So we have minus natural log of n factorial. The natural log of n factorial is n log n minus n, so the minus of that is n minus n log n plus n. Um, my log of minus 1 over x is minus log of x. Um, that's called Stirling's approximation that gets us this value. I'm not going to focus on that right now because it's not important, but just note that's called Stirling's approximation for the natural log of n factorial. All right, then natural log of this is n over 2 log 2 pi mkt over h squared. All right, I did it this way because I only care about terms that have volume dependence because I'm taking a partial derivative with respect to volume. Anything that doesn't have volume dependence is going to go away. So that partial derivative of n log v, d dv of log v is 1 over v, so I have n over v. Now I take that uh, derivative and I multiply it times 1 over beta, so I get 1 over beta n over v. Beta is 1 over kt, so 1 over beta is kt. So I get for the pressure of my system of ideal gas particles is nkt over v. Notice that number of particles times the Boltzmann constant is equal to number of moles times the gas constant. So nkt over v is equal to nrt over v. So note that this says that the pressure of a system of n particles of not, that are non-interacting is equal to nrt over v. This is in fact the ideal gas law. So we've rederived the ideal gas law by developing the partition function for the translations of non-interacting particles inside a closed box. So this is good because statistical mechanics should reproduce all the results of classical thermodynamics 
and we see more and more examples that these ideas about trend about partition functions and probabilities and beta aren't just abstract theoretical ideas but they have very direct applications and result in the same types of ideas that we see from studying the macroscopic systems using thermodynamics.